Hello, fellow collectors. Today we're going to be taking a look at the gold label. Batman, Arkham City, Ra's al Ghul from DC Multiverse. And we can see here is number three in the collective Bill Solomon Grundy line. So see, here we have a Ra's al Ghul, but done in grayscale versions. On the side, we see Ra's al Ghul. On the back, we see Ra's al Ghul, Batman, Arkham City. The Solomon Grundy figure, and see that Solomon Grundy's parts that Ra's al Ghul carries. And here are the four figures in the line. On the side, we see Batman Arkham City, Ra's al Ghul, Batman Arkham City. So if we get the way scale out, we can see that this guy is coming in right at one pound even. So let's get him out of the box and see how cool he is. So now we have him out of the box. We can see the card he comes with, all done in grayscale. And here we have a bio. Please pause to read. So we see that he comes with two accessories. The first one is Solomon Grundy's left arm. And you can see here his right arm. We have these blue markings on his arms, a little bit of gray here. Now, Ra's al Ghul also comes with a sword. You can see we have a little bit of writing here. And this is the exact same sword that we had prior. Just wants to keep focusing on the back for some reason. So, bringing my fingers to turn on the light, get a little bit more detail for you. Nice, nice sword. So we see Ra's al Ghul here in grayscale version. And he is the exact same figure as the normal version. So the normal version pops a little bit more, especially with a tattoo that you can see, whereas the other one is kind of grayed out. So if you have the normal version, you really don't need this Ra's al Ghul unless you're collecting the Solomon Grundy part like I am. So if I bring in Ra's al Ghul here, I can see the great details of the figure. Now when I was talking about the tattoo, you can see here it's all in white. So it's very hard to see compared to the other version. Here is the other arm. But this is... Still a nice detailed figure, especially the armor. Nice boot details. As far as his back goes. You can see this and there's shoulders detail. As well as his head here. We'll get a little bit closer to look at that. Now, as far as articulation goes, Ra's al Ghul can look up a little bit, down a little bit, left and right without a problem. His arms come out to a nice T pose. He does have the ability to go back and forth, but the shoulder pads do prevent. He does have a rotation at the arm bicep, and his elbow does have a double bend, and his wrist can rock back and forth and rotate all the way around also. Now, Ra's al Ghul is blocked from having much of an ab crunch by his armor, but he can do a little bit of a waist swivel without an issue. And he does have a pretty good split. Now he can rotate around a little bit here at the hip. And he does have a double bend in the knee as well as a ball joint on his ankle that will allow for a full rotation. And you'll notice it's right up here. So you can get double rotation out of this ankle. Just be wary whenever you do that, you might twist it to where the ankle is not lined up and you might have to spend a little time getting it back just like I had to do there.
now Raz al Ghul standing in at just under seven and a half. That means if I stand up Batman next to him, you can see that the ears of Batman come up to Roz. And if I bring in the penguin, you'll see that he is taller than the penguin. So if you are into McFarland toys or any other collectible, head on over to entertainmentearth.com. Use the co coupon code that I have provided to save 10% off and also to get free shipping on orders $79 or more. So until next time, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.